This is Anderson Penn's <laughs> podcast, episode 394, for Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. Great. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> So apparently it's like my post-Mother's Day gift that I get to tell the joke today. So I have two, just in case one is a failure. So what do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? A fish wearing a bow tie? <laughs> a dapper snapper. <laughs> that, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Sophisticated. Ah. <laughs> I have another okay. one. Okay. And since I never get to tell a joke, <laughs> what did the zero say to the eight? Zero say to the eight. The number zero. So did zero say to the eight. Correct. I don't know. Nice belt. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Uh, so we've got a couple of things we want to talk about this week that are uh, on the chopping block. They're being discontinued. It sounds so harsh. I know, I know. Uh, they're being discontinued, so uh, I'm going to mention that we've got a couple items here, and then there's one item uh, I forgot to, we I forgot to put on the board, so we'll talk about that. It's an add-in. First up, uh, Custom 74 Pilot. Yes. Uh, really great pen. Orange and violet are being are, discontinued. Are being discontinued. Um, you may or may not know or remember that the Forest Green came out... Um, like so February. Earlier this yep, year. Yep. And um, one announcement we're making today, and you may have seen it online already, is that there is another new color coming in. Uh, early June. Called Grenadine. Mm -hmm. And then there will be one other color uh, later this year, I believe, third quarter. So they, uh, Pilot has decided to discontinue the purple and the orange three to new, make room. Get rid three, of two. Yeah. Two out, three in. Yep. So orange is always a classic color. I actually, uh, our first tester uh, that we had at the store for Custom 74 was uh, was an orange uh, medium. Do I have one? Uh, you've got a full tester set, actually. <laughs> <laughs> for Chicago. So you can pick whichever one you want. Awesome. Uh, the violet's a lovely color, though. Um, 14 karat nib. They come with a con 70 converter. Uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad nib choices on these. So okay. uh, really a solid pen. Um, this, this, this violet's really neat, though. That's really a cool color. I Do like it. I, I don't know. Father's Day's uh, coming. Yeah, we'll see if I got one as a tester. If we got one as a tester, I'll be satisfied because it's All just right. such a neat color. But uh, Grenadine's coming out. This is a, kind of a bright red. Yes. This is um, not a shy pen. Uh, it's not a, not a Merlot, but uh, it will still have the same transparent qualities with the same smoke uh, finials and section yes. uh, as the current lineup. So um, nothing different there, just the color. So that'll be coming out uh, soon. So... Uh, that is up on the website. People can go in and uh, sign up for a Do the back in stock. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Next up on the discontinued? Uh, you know, it's funny. I was uh, having a conversation with our creative director just yesterday and about some discontinued paper that we're going to talk about in a minute. And this email came in with a discontinued Faber-Castell product. I mean, we were literally just talking about discontinued and Here magic. There it was. So the Faber-Castell loom in the metallic gray color um, has been discontinued. And our sales rep, um, who we love, uh, I do like it when they tell us whether or not the warehouse has yeah, any yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes companies will say, okay, this is discontinued. To us, that means they're done. But, they and still they, but some companies still have stock and then you, know, you just don't know, should you order, should you not? So. Um, Pretty much what we have left is all we will have. Yeah, yeah. We have fountain pen, roller ball, and including the ballpoint. And this is kind of like the piano version too, because it's got it's the, the gloss. The shiny barrel. Yeah, the shiny barrel. With a matte cap. Yeah. Um, and it's so far only the metallic gray yep. that is being discontinued. Everything else is remaining. So, yeah, it's, got, it's, a, it's a, I like that color. It's a cool color. So they're nice keeping steel, steel steel nib on that. We should mention. Um, your nib choice is uh, extra fine through broad. And this is cool. You twist the entire... The whole cap. Cap. Yeah. yeah. What is this? Rollerball. Rollerball uses the uh, 888-5888 uh, Waterman style. Does repo. post well. Yeah. I like a pen that posts well. It's got the nice rib, rib section there too. So 
Um, it's not uh, it's not as slick as it would appear to be. Struggling there. Uh, yes. Uh, one more thing I, I didn't bring, we forgot to put on the list, um, Lamy All-Star. Oh, in blue-green. In blue-green. We mentioned that last week. Did we mention it last week? Because... Well, I'm going to mention it again. Okay. Because we got one each. Oh. Literally one fountain pen and rollerball ballpoint left in stock. Do I have one? I don't know if you do or not, but you should consider it. I should. Um, pretty this, color. This was the color of the year several years ago, and then um, it actually hung out for a little while. And then they discontinued it, and then they brought it back, and now it's gone again. Yep. So, so if we hang if we hang out long enough, maybe we our poster, our blue green poster in the store, <laughs> will come back into fashion. It we was, hung out. We it, kept that because I it's know. such a pretty color. It was new, and then it was retro, and then it was back, and so it was new again, <laughs> and then now it's discontinued again, so it was retro. So there you go. Um, but anyway, Lamy All Star, blue green. Uh, literally one left. So the outlet section of the website is where we put things that either we have chosen to discontinue or like some of these products we've already mentioned, manufacturers have chosen to discontinue <clears throat> them. And so it not only helps us keep track of, you know, once we sell out what we need to remove from the website, but I don't know about you, but I love a good outlet section on any given website. Yeah, we should mention that doesn't necessarily mean that the price is reduced in any way, shape, or form. Right. Uh, um, we still still are, are have to abide by pricing policies. Yes. Uh, for these pens, you know, if they say we can discount it, then we will, but they never do, really. Many of them don't. Yep. Yeah. Um, so one thing uh, that's up there that I think is maybe good and bad that it's uh, some of these colors for Leuchtturm 1917 notebooks have been discontinued fairly quickly. Yeah, these were in and out. And Some of these are, are really relatively new within the last year. Um, although it's not a bad thing because Leuchtturm has so many colors and they're constantly changing them. They, they seem to be doing some seasonal colors, um, some seasonal sets of colors. And so right now we've got uh, the Bellini, the Emerald, I do this love that the denim. denim, denim. And, the, and the azure. I don't understand why they would discontinue this. Maybe That's something so. better is coming along. Better than this? I know. I mean, That's like a well, sky blue on a nice sunny day. We've got denim. There's another blue. Um, so maybe they're just making way for, okay. you know, different sets of colors. It's a nice uh, color. Nice color. Um, but... Uh, <clears throat> Some different line variations. You've got lined, dot grid, blank, um, graph, etc. So um, definitely take a look through the outlet and uh, see what's on there. And if it's on there and it's the last one or it only lets you check out with one, it's because it is on the way out. That's it. Yep. All right. What else? What's next here? What do you want to go from here? Let's talk about new. New? Uh, well, let's talk about semi-new. Semi-new? Yes. Uh, the next item is yes. the Twisby Iris DAC 700R. Um, just came in this week. Uh, may or may not be available as the time of uh, airing here, but we do. I do have more on order. Yes. So there's so, a very limited amount that were available the first batch. So we got our first batch sold out. This is the second batch, mm -hmm. and there were some shipping delays. So um, yeah, it took nothing. A couple extra days. Yep. Nothing but, anybody can do about that. But we have our. This is our second batch. This is our second batch of okay. Iris. And then um, there will be more. There will be more. And it will be more of a, uh, a, a kind of a regular production, uh, and they will be ramping up. So if you didn't get it, Grab there, it there, will, there will be more opportunities to get them. But I, we, we, have, we have a couple as of shooting right now, but uh, that, may, that may not be the case when this airs. So uh, Twisby Iris uh, coming back, and uh, Lilac, the Eco Lilac, which our first batch sold out on pre-order. Uh, there are more of those coming. So... Uh, those should be here within uh, about a week, give or take. Hopefully. Awesome. So, ink? Oh my God. These <laughs> companies are exhausting me. Um, new ink colors from both Esterbrook and Diplomat. So I just added those to the site. Um, I think I added all the samples as well. Have we ordered them? Uh, they are going to be on their way. Okay. Awesome. Um, really pretty colors. I'm excited. Um, ironically, I think they use the same bottle. Who's that? The yes, Brook and, and the Diplomat. Diplomat. It's pretty close, but it looks pretty close. They all look like the Pelican 4001 yeah. bottle. Um, 
pretty colors. Uh, Esterbrook has three colors that are shimmer. Okay, nice. Now those will be about two weeks. Okay, those yes. Those are be two weeks till they're in the United States, so it's going to be about two to three weeks before we actually have it. Yes. Um, Diplomat, 15 colors, 30 mil. Um, You're not going to ask me to recite those, are you? I was going to, but apparently I'm not, so... I can't have any fun. I could maybe do the Esther no, book. But. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> no. Uh, so more more ink options. Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so those are all coming. The Di Diplomat should be, probably will be here before Esther book uh, for sure. So uh, something new to, to play with. Uh, the Esther book sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what they've come up with that's, that's unique. There's so many inks out there. Yes. That it's hard to find an angle that's, unique or different. I mean, I, I don't think I, we need another black ink no. uh, on the planet. I think if nobody made black ink other than Aurora and Sailor, we'd probably be okay. But uh, everybody's got to include a black, so. Right. Um, but just one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need Some four. Some these companies make way too yeah. many different shades yeah. of black, but so. just saying. <clears throat> anyway, all right. Um, coming soon. Oh. The Sconti. Opera Demo Carousel. Now, I had to make, take some notes on it. These are really pretty cool. Yes. Um, just announced. Uh, I've got the order in. I have no idea when they're coming. Uh, hopefully soon. But, like all your Opera Masters, double reservoir power filler. Um, but, this time it comes with a clear An acrylic piston rod. piston rod. Yes. And this way... Um, you can, since the body is semi-transparent, you, you, um, you won't have that rod <laughs> blocking your view of the ink, which I think is really yes. interesting. Well, and they use three different semi-transparent acrylics yes. to mix the colors. Um, and the four colors are pink blush, which is a very interesting color. It's kind of a pinky peachy with cream. Yes. It's a very interesting color. I, I must admit, I'm, I'm curious with that one. Uh, the green mint. Yes. You know, the green mint remind. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, what does that remind you of? It reminds me of the... Andy's Vis candy? The Visconti <laughs> Van Gogh in, like, irises. Okay. Um, it's kind of a light green and a little dark green and oh, some blue yeah. and some white. It's really, really pretty. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I spent a lot of time looking at those pictures when I was working on the descriptions. Red velvet. What do you got to say about red velvet? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's red kind of velvet, a burgundy and pink and cream, and, uh, and and then the one that it looks so interesting that I, I, I'm not sure the pictures do it justice. Blue cotton candy. I'm not so sure about the cotton candy part of the name, but it, it's the swirls. It's, maybe it's a light blue semi. I, I can't tell what color it is. It looks so cool. Kind of um, a turquoisey, kind of a blue. Sort of, it's, yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> well, the pictures they give us, and then, then there's then there's like, you know, the lifestyle shots. The, the color looks a little different. So until we actually I'm excited. get them in our hands. They're not as um, dark and bright. They're definitely more yeah, they're, springy they're, colors. They're, they're not as serious as some they're of the playful. other. They're playful. Yeah, playful. There we go. But that pink blush is interesting. Really interesting color. Really? I Sure, out of the four, I think it's the most unique color. Yes. Um, and, and that's, at this point, you know, we've seen so many pens. W what's interesting is something that's different, you know. Yep. It's definitely not from the pictures we've seen. We haven't had one in person. And, of course, they'll all be slightly different. Yep, yep. But it's definitely not pink like... The no, Rembrandt. It's not a pink. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. you know, like the Rembrandt is. I, I, I think you're, you, when you say cream, that's, that's a really excellent. It's got a little it, but tannish, it's kind creamish. of peachy. Yeah, yeah. It's really kind yeah. of peachy, which is very yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's a super, super cool color. How big are those? Uh, well, they're Opera Master size, so they're, you know, they're, 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 they're about the size of a whole I might sapiens. have to check this out. It's really, now, yeah. Now, they do have, so of course they have, they have the, the ink window. Right. They have a metal section. And the hook safe and lock. And the hook safe lock mm -hmm. closure system. So, um, double reservoir, holds a ton of ink, um, plus a little reserve. So, pretty, pretty colors. Really, I'm really cool stuff. Really excited. So, th those have been ordered. I n think they're probably coming in this week and shipping to us. So, so we will have them in time for the next up on the list the John Lane Visconti DuPont event. Uh, I'm so and excited. Are we sure this is the right date this time? 
so excited. Wednesday, to see May twenty sixth. Yes, uh, John will be um, <laughs> driving in that morning, and so Is it'll be. We don't have to pick him up from the airport. You remember what happened last time we picked up John? <laughs> last time we picked up John Lane from the airport. From the airport here if, in Appleton. Uh, we got T-boned. Got T-boned by a truck who missed a, a big giant pickup truck that missed a uh, stop sign in the parking lot of I the was... um, of the airport parking lot. And there, there's some weird um, relationship between the police and the airport security. Because we couldn't go the off the property. The, the cop had to park his car and walk. Yeah, he couldn't drive he in. It was really in. weird. And we were, we were, were we 30 feet from <laughs> paying our ticket and getting out of the garage or out of the, the parking lot? Yeah. And the dude T-bones me. Um, yeah, that was a little scary. Uh, this will be his first trip for Visconti, Visconti and DuPont. DuPont yep. And I'm super excited. Um It'll be really good to see him. We haven't yeah, seen him in yeah, a while. It'll be good. So uh, we'll have, have tons of tons of Visconti and Dupont stuff. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have some some cool lighters and things. Yes. Um, and uh, and we've we've got a couple lighters of our own here at the store. So mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a fun event. Come down. Uh, probably starting. We haven't firmed it up, but probably not starting until at least noon or whenever he gets here. Exactly. So, probably um, one or two. Yeah. To give him time to arrive and get set up and all of our shipping out of the way, um, up until five. Um, and then we have a fabulous dinner at Lombardi's plan. John yes. has been drooling over the yep. um, French onion soup that the two of you love. Right. Great, great soup, actually. Yes. Really, really good. So that will be fun. That's only, and what, a couple weeks? That's two weeks from You know, I, I have today. a personal request for all the locals out there. I know um, so many of you came out for the uh, vintage event when we had it. Uh, opened for the locals. So when John Lane comes from Visconti and DuPont, um, if you can make it out, please come out. It was really great to, yeah. I wasn't there, but yeah. it was really great for Brian and the team to see all of you locals kind of, you know, in, in one place at one time. That was fun. Um, but definitely come and um, show the vendors that there's still interest here in Appleton and um, come and see some of this stuff. You know, I'm, I'm excited yeah. to hold some of yeah. the new stuff. So come out. Um, John always has ink samples and you get to play with things. You know, maybe a Homo sapiens or Grail pen. Um, well, we'll definitely have those. Yep. So. I know. You love to. I, I've, got my, I've got my crystal dream. It sits on my desk. I know. At work, it's it. That, it never goes. It never go. Well, it, I won't say it doesn't go in my pocket, but it it always stays there. It doesn't come home. I use it there. It doesn't come home. Well, it's it's my work pen. It's my work. <laughs> it's my work wife. Um, so May twenty sixth, Visconti and Dupont event, um, and maybe you haven't really thought much about Dupont. I love my pen. Yeah. It is gorgeous. I got some nice pens. Yes. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, too hot, habanero. Yes. Uh, finally, we got another selection in, so we do have them in stock. Okay. Uh, slim and the full size versions. Were we out? Uh, yes. Yeah. We they 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 were they, habaneroed all the way out. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? So we do. I don't know. Um, uh, Dapper Snapper. They do. <laughs> they do. Uh, to come with a two-tone nib, uh, the little habanero on the top, or the I little chili pepper that. on the top. It's so cute. I love the chili pepper. Um, but we do have those back in stock. Great. Um, in, uh, in, so both sizes. Uh, Esterbrook, Esty, and Lilac. Yeah, I'm confused about this. Okay, so here's the deal. Right. Lilac is. Explain it to me. Lilac is going away. Okay, so there are several versions of this pen. There are oversized in both palladium and gold trim. There's a regular size in palladium and gold trim. Okay. And then there is a slim, which right. only comes in the palladium trim. Okay. So the oversize, uh, the gold is gone. I, I literally have one oversize left in palladium trim. And in the regular size, the palladium is gone. And we have a couple of gold trim, which we haven't had in a long time, okay. um, arriving uh, this uh, today, I think actually. Okay. Um, so there are two gold trim. That was all that were left. I snagged them in the regular size, and then there are slim. Slim is about going to be the only thing that's available. So there are a few of those left. They come in fine and medium. Okay. Um, but 
for the regular and the oversized, when those are gone, those are gone. So okay. there's only literally like three left in the shop. And isn't the backstory to this that the lilac was actually an incorrect color? I, it was supposed I can't to get be a story. There was a blueberry and then, yeah, something and like that. And the color came out weird, yep. but it was going to be like a year before they could get the next round of the correct color. So they just went with the lilac, yep. which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I, I believe that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a cool color. Uh, so to recap, I just recap what's available. Oversized in palladium. Okay. Standard size in gold trim. Okay. And the slim, in. which only comes in palladium. Okay. So those are the only ones available. Um, looks like we'll be able to get the slim for a while now, but it, it's a smaller pen. Um, but uh, if you want, if you're interested in the regular or the oversized, they're they're completely out. I can't get any more. Okay. And does the slim take the um, MV converter? It does not. Okay. It does not, uh, it, and it has a smaller, uh, but a number five size Schmidt nib. So it doesn't take the journaler nib. Now the other thing is, is oh, the yeah, journaler we nibs we that. should mention. Um, are, are, have been wildly popular. In fact, we were cleaned out and we had so many of them. Um, they're, they're saying about a six to eight week backlog on journaler nibs across all Estes. Um, but I think there might be some coming in next week, but we'll, we'll but after that, then I, there's probably going to be a lag. So it, it, journaler nibs are going to be a, there's going to be a delay on those. Right. Um, so if you're interested in a lilac with a journaler nib, well, it's going to be uh, a while. You might not be able to make that up because we might sell the, the pen before we get the, the journal or nib. So, right. um, but uh, uh, Esterbrook SD Lilac is gone, going away. So that's a pretty one. I think that's it. You're sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. So uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, uh, ink reviews, and all sorts of other um, upcoming events. Uh, and uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. There you go. Uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll uh, see you next time. Bye.